Hi, welcome to this What's New with Rayroll 5 video. In this video, we'd like to talk to you about the web interface or web UI that's now available. It allows you to view the live operational status of your device using a web browser without compromising security. The web UI is available from version 240 onwards and is a free of charge upgrade on all Rayroll 5 devices. It can be downloaded from SIOS, the Siemens Industry Online Support web page. So how do we get started? Open your web browser. We're using Microsoft Edge in this example. Enter the IP address of the device into the address bar on your browser. We can connect via the rear Ethernet port using the IP address of the configured device, or we can connect directly to the front USB port using the default IP address of 192.168.2.1. Once loaded, we are prompted for a password. If you have a connection password set, this should be entered. If no password is set, then simply log in. Here we can see the main home page for the device. We can view device information, event logs, fault data, measurements, and terminal assignments. Clicking on the device information icon will display information about the device. This includes the MLB, serial number, and software information. Let's take a closer look at the events. Clicking on the event log icon will display the events for the device. Each line displays an event, the description, timestamp, and status, either raised or cleared. Pressing the pause button in the top right hand corner will pause the live display, allowing you to analyze the events captured. Live events are still captured in the background and indicated when the pause button turns green. Clicking on the pause button a second time will return you to the live event log and the log will be refreshed. Moving on to look at the default data, clicking the fault data icon will display the data log for the device. Faults stored in the device are displayed in a list here. Each fault is timestamped and contains information on which elements operated and the measured values at the time of fault. Pressing the export button will allow you to export the data on the page. This allows you to analyze the data at a later time without being connected to the device. Next, we'll dive into the measurements. These pages show live measurement information from the device, including operational values such as current, voltage, frequency, power, and sequence components, depending on which hardware you have. The values can be viewed in primary, secondary, or nominal, applying the CT ratios in the configuration. The live data can be paused to capture and view measurements. And finally, we come to the terminal assignments. Here you can view the live status and mappings from the binary inputs, binary outputs, and LEDs. The live status is either marked as either on or off. The binary input tab shows the status and mappings for the binary inputs. The BO tab shows the status and mappings for the binary outputs. The LED tab shows the status and mappings for the LEDs. If the LED is picked up or operated, then the value will be displayed on, otherwise it will be off. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like more information on the Rayroll 5 or any of the topics mentioned in this video, then please visit our website at siemens.com slash Rayroll5. Thanks.